This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Will you pray with me? Good and gracious God, we gather today to mark a milestone for this university and for the class of 2020. We pause to give thanks for your tender mercies, your faithful presence, and your generous love that have brought us safely to this day. Today is a culmination of years of work, years filled with challenges, triumphs, losses, laughter, friendship, and growth. Thank you for the gift of family, friends, and faculty who have supported these children of yours and who celebrate with them now. While living in the tension between grief and gratitude, these students have persevered with resilience, courage, and faith through unprecedented, unexpected circumstances in a changing world and have finished well the work at hand. Today, though separated by internet connections and display screens, we are united by your grace as one monarch family to honor these graduates. We are proud of them. Gather us now to be with you as you are with us in this time of celebration and gratitude. Amen. Hello, graduates, family, faculty, staff, and trustees. I'm Stan Worden, president of Methodist University. This is a bittersweet moment for me. On the one hand, I'm disappointed that we're unable to have a normal May commencement. As I have said in a couple of my messages, commencement is my favorite day in the academic calendar, filled with joy, accomplishment, and monarch pride. On the other hand, I am so happy we are able to have this virtual celebration of your accomplishments. And I hope you will return to participate in the December 2020 commencement. I'm always proud of Methodist University graduates. I know how hard you have worked to get to this day, and I know what an amazing education you have received. But this year, I'm even more proud of our graduates than usual. Together, we have faced an unprecedented challenge, and students, faculty, and staff have risen to that challenge with remarkable hope, hard work, and courage. I am so very proud of Methodist University and her May 2020 graduates for finding creative and effective ways to ensure that no mere virus could get in the way of monarch teaching and learning. This has been a very tough way to finish your MU education, but I believe in years to come we will all look back on this as a time when we were severely tested and passed the test with distinction. Having been through this will only make us stronger, and our memory of this time will remind us that if we can get through this pandemic, we can do anything. I'm a little sad that I'm not standing on a stage right now, watching each graduate be hooded, handing you your diploma, and shaking your hand. I miss that. But I'm also honored to have been your president during this time, to have seen you show the world what you are truly made of, a Methodist University graduate is a special person indeed. I've known that in principle, but what I have witnessed from our students this semester has really brought that to me in heart. Thank you all, students, faculty, and staff, for your courage, love, and determination. And congratulations, graduates, on all your accomplishments. Good morning. My name is Carson Sanchez, and I am the SGA president and a financial economics major. I am honored and humbled to be able to deliver this message to a community which I care so deeply about. I cannot be more grateful to call Methodist University my home for the past four years, and it is the relationships I have gotten to develop which make it so. There are many ways to describe what the past four years have been like, but I think this story will sum it up best. It's a long story with some great details, but for time's sake, I'll do my best to keep it brief. When I first got here, I didn't have a car, so the commute back to Vermont was always a challenge. So when I finally had you know, the freedom to drive home when I needed to, I would always drive through the night because DC traffic's terrible and it was the best way to get by it. But it's also the best way to get stuck in a blizzard. It was Christmas break of my sophomore year. The night I was supposed to leave, my mom called me telling me about the store moving up the East Coast and suggested that maybe I stay at Methodist one more night. So. You know, I saw this as a challenge and packed my things and got in the car and was on the road by 4.30. Somewhere shortly after I left Maryland, probably around the Delaware Bridge, my GPS cut off and I made a left turn to head west toward Pittsburgh. 
And by the time I'd figured it out, I was in the center of Pennsylvania and realized that the best way back up was through 81 and back through New York. I'd be home in time for breakfast either way, no big deal. But as I was nearing Interstate 84, I just realized I was too tired and I couldn't keep going. So I checked at four different hotels and all of them were booked. Apparently some people had the idea to get off the roads in time. I took a 15 minute nap, reminded myself that I'm a Vermonter, I can drive in snow, and got back after it. But not much further down the road near Scranton, PA, I ran into a huge backup of traffic. I mean, stand still at 3 in the morning. It was a mile long, going over a hill. I couldn't tell what was going on. So I put my car in park. I set the AC to 75. I cracked the window a little bit. And I turned the interstate into my hotel. Three hours later, I woke up to a truck horn blaring from behind me. And I noticed the cars in front of me had started to move. It's good. Drowsy and confused, I started rolling down I-84 at about 15 miles per hour on my way home. We noticed a bunch of downed trees, wasn't anything major, no car accident, but eventually I'd find my way home, only missing like three exits after that. And that is the story of the most grueling and stressful car ride I've ever had in my life. And the point of that story isn't to tell you that it's hard to drive in snow, or that you should check your GPS more often, or, you know, that a truck horn is a really scary alarm clock. The point is, when I got back home at about 11 that morning, my mom had a huge smile on her face and was happy to see me. I got where I was going. It wasn't how I expected to or wanted to, but I got there. And that has been my experience at Methodist University. I came here for PGM. I got involved on campus. I changed my majors, changed my life. But here I am receiving my bachelor's degree and I wouldn't trade it for a single wrong turn, missed exit or accidental interstate nap for anything. If there's one piece of advice I can give, it's this. If at times it seems like you're lost, just know that one way or the other, you're gonna get where you need to go. Maybe stressful, tough, challenging, but that's life. And quite frankly, that's what makes it great. So hopefully I will see you all at the commencement ceremony in December. But if I do not, I wish you all the best. And I'm sure you're gonna make our community proud in all that you do. I am truly blessed to have attended Methodist University. Greetings from our beautiful Methodist University campus. I'm Suzanne Blum-Malley, your provost. I have the great privilege of announcing our May 2020 distinguished graduate, Allison Nagel. Allison has been a two-sport athlete playing lacrosse and soccer, serving as the president of Ignite, and also serving on the debate team. She has been an active and integral part of our campus life, and she embodies the spirit of our mission, truth, justice, virtue, and love. Congratulations, Allison, on this well-deserved honor. Graduates, this celebration is about you and your loved ones. Congratulations, you did it. It's also a joyous occasion for your faculty, the professors who've served as your teachers and mentors throughout your time at Methodist. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge them and to thank them for helping you prepare for this day and for what comes next in your lives. Thank you. Graduates, we are so proud of you. We look forward to staying in touch as you go out into the world, carrying your Methodist University education and values with you. We know you will do amazing things. Congratulations again. Next, please enjoy our amazing Methodist University Chorale in their performance of The Star.
And now our deans will introduce the graduates from each of their schools. Greetings. My name is J.R. Hustwit, and I'm Dean of School of Arts and Humanities here at Methodist University. Today I have the privilege of announcing the graduates of our class of 2020. Graduates, as you move on to the next step of your lives, I encourage you to remember that getting a job and trading your labor for money may be necessary, but it is not sufficient. Earning a living is not enough. It's only a means to an end. Ideals like truth, beauty, and justice are the reasons we work. So I urge you to continue to appreciate the beauty all around you, in your families, in the pine forests, and in the music you enjoy. To search for truth in all things, thinking carefully and critically about the information you consume. And to work hard to achieve justice where injustice thrives. Now, truth, beauty, and justice are not the only ideals we can pursue after graduation, but they are a good start. May we never lose sight of those ideals. I am honored to now read the names of our hardworking graduates who have achieved so much. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Hunter Davis, Andrew Max, Haja Mohammed Nafe Ali, Luis Rolon, Shaquandra Witted. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Fine Arts, Jason Aguilar, Diana Denton, Kylan Dooley, Kristen Oliva, Joshua Ryan. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Music, Alexis Cohan, Sarah Cruz, Jordan Curry, Diamond Foster. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Stephanie Campbell, Rachel Cullen, Kiana Gordado, Imani Jones, Kyle McKean, Akea McLaughlin, Austin Morgan, Kyle Nodden, Alberto Perez Orojo, Robert Powell, Hilary Ridd, candidates for the degree of Associate of Arts, Renzo Latona. All esteem and respect to these graduates of the class of 2020. Hello, my name is Dr. Kimberly Scruton, the Dean of the Reeves School of Business and Economics. It is an honor to be sharing this special moment with you. The Reeves School of Business faculty have worked hard to prepare you for this special moment, and we are extremely proud to be a part of your accomplishments. Today, you have reached an important goal through hard work and perseverance, and it gives me great pleasure to announce the following candidates for the degree of the Master's in Business Administration. Hussein El Radi. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Riyam El Baghdadi. Ruwa Adam. Firas El Sadiq. Ali El Kamish. Jamil Almo Walad. Ahmed Al Solobi. Ahmed Mahmoud Baiban. John Baker. Hunter Barnes, Runal Campos Puraz, Ronald Carroll, Tucker Criswell, Roman De Racy, Joshua Deutsch, Elvin Espinoza Vargas, Stormy Flincham, Elizabeth Fritas, Jyoti Golia, Jennifer Gorham, Naya Graham, Jackson Holloway, Brandon Hunt, Evan Hutchison, Marina Junisic, Mia Kaitaz, 
Steve Keone, Napa Sorn Klinklain, Spencer Koenig, Lawson Lamb, Jamie Logan, Yana Marchinko, Brian Mason, Michael Morer, Pratiksha Mangude, Kamen Mitchell, Margaret Mojako, Allison Nagel, Kuleu Newsom, Alberto Paha Rilia, Thin Pashak Panolith, Serena Pillow, Daniel Rhodes, Kitkanya Rongpong, Olivia Rust, Danielle Ann San Jose, Carson Sanchez, Natalie Sarane, Garrett Sean, Siraj Shali, Kenton Shelton, Manjo Kamari Sintan, Ponpasweeth Sorainsak, Pise Sai, Andrew Steve, Robert Strickland, Kadisha Swartz, Philip Tart, Justin Teagan, Danielle Terzi, Wisdom Uefo, Danielle Wolf, Any Mom Zing C. I'd like to wish you my deepest congratulations on receiving your degree. It has been a journey filled with knowledge, self development, memories you will cherish, and relationships that will last a lifetime. Today, you begin a new chapter, and I'd like to wish you all the best. May you continue to find the strength within to achieve your goals. On behalf of the Reeves School of Business, faculty and staff, we wish you continued success. Hello graduates, families, and friends. My name is Trey Hoyt, and I serve as the Interim Dean for the School of Health Sciences. It is my pleasure today to have the opportunity to read the names of the graduates from our school. The candidates for the degree of Doctor of Physical Therapy, Sean Best, Rachel Bond, Colton Browning, Joshua Campbell, Jessica Campbell, Shelby Cunningham, Ronald Darcy, Jessica Eberhardt, Lindsay Edge, Nadia Fadun, Cassidy Fike, Kevin Flood, Jenna Henry, Megan Jarvis, Hogan Jones, Christian Kane, Alexander Lambert, Zachary Lilly, Andrew Lloyd, Andrew Maccabee, Taylor McFadden, Nick McGarry, Malia Morris, Dustin Murphy, Sean Odom, Taylor Romulus, Hunter Ryan, Emily Samp, Samantha Sheeler, Ashley Scorzone, Nicole Small, Stephen Stroop, Caitlin Sturgis, Allison Wisniewski, and Jimmy Wu. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Virginia Arce, Andrew Ballard, Lindsay Brennan, Leslie Camino, Angeline Davis, Joy Davis, 
Elaine Edmondson, Natalia Frias, Casey Hobbs, Tanya Howard, Haley Jones, Edward Jones, Daniel Laramore, Andrew Mayevsky, Jessica Okoriocha, Samantha Oliphant, Jonathan Pinnell, Ingrid Pohl, Sabrina Posey, Annabelle Ronelli, Alondra Sedano, Crystal Smith, Jasmine Tapscott, Karina Walker, Michaela Walker. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training. Kania Chambers, Dean Harrison, Olivia Hudson, Megan Joyner, William Lopez, Allison Matera, Stacy McWilliams, Kelsey Smith, Abigail Weisler. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science with a major in Healthcare Administration, Stacy Collins, Samantha Hawkins, Jerry Henry, Bryce Kephart, Catherine McCam, Sarah Stauffenberg, candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, Haley Boyles, La Tanisha Dockery, Miranda Gay, Montanique Hendricks, Akili Jabulani, Caitlin Martin, Anna Rose Sink, Jonathan Strahl, and Abigail West. On behalf of all the faculty and staff in the School of Health Sciences, I would like to say congratulations to the graduates. We wish you all the best. Take care. Hello, my name is George Hendricks, Dean of the School of Public Affairs at Methodist University. I'd like to congratulate all of our graduates at, from Methodist University and from the School of Public Affairs. You know, graduates, one of my favorite quotes is by Winston Churchill. You make a living by what you get, but you make a life by what you give. It is my prayer that all of you leave from Methodist University and go out into the world and make a difference. Make a difference in living a holistic life filled with mind, body, and spirit. But also I hope you embrace the characteristics of our mission statement, characteristics of truth, virtue, justice, and love. Again, congratulations to you all. Candidates for the degree of Master of Justice Administration. Christy Lynn Buer, Mary Jo Wilson, candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Kayla Birmingham, Matthew Brown, Ricky Caldwell, Zachary Campbell, Nitya Kanakaya, Ethan Carmack, Andrew Cash, Alexander Castro, Lindsey Champion, William Clayton, Jonathan Cooper, Michaela Cooper, Jason Davis, William Diedrich, Nicoletta Doro Bonthu, Magali Escamilla, Tyler Fletcher, Lance Furstenberg, Edmilson Garcia, Makuleku Garner, Eileen Gomez Pereira, Dwayne Green, Kiana Havard, Broderick Howard, Mitchell Humphrey, 
Zara Jan Mohammed, Brendan Johnson, Lisa Kasamba, Jeffrey Knuth, Clarice Kraus, Michael Lapari, Nathaniel Manley, Natalie Paloalo, Jesed Pondo, Samuel Richardson, Ashley Ryan, Ponpashan Singh Manakam, Tamomi Shiatani, Marcus Smith, Tamara Smith, Tenzin Finley, Osvaldo Vives, Alexander Weaver. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Social Work, Kiara Brown, Candace Fulmore, Serena Harper Smith, Lakeisha Holmes, Fredlicia Lansana, Rebecca Locklear, Julie Lucas, Jessica Moretz, Josh Bikasha Morris, Gregory Sampson. Greetings from the School of Science and Human Development. My name is Ted Chen. I'm Dean of the School. Here are the candidates for the degree of Master of Education. Rosalie Drysdale Chambers. Wesley Johnson. Danielle Phillips. Here are the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Christian Austin. Felipe Batista. Samir Bajasi, Austin Boyles, Amanda Brust, Taylor Bryant, Christian Bullard, Caroline Buns, Spencer Carter, Montana Cantor, Miranda Crawford, Austin Cronin, Aaliyah Daniels, William Davis, Egidio Edito Ducamo Diaz Vigas, John English, Heidi Foreman, Sydney Frasey, Jessica Garcia, Lam Lam Gabra Michelle, Christina Gillard, David Goforth, Andrea Gonzalez Valio. Keith Hardy, Carly Haywood, Bailey Helms, Samuel Hurst, Thierry Iragua, Brittany Ivory, Randy Jacobs, Denise Johnson, Jamie Jones, Alexander Ketchler, Jeremy Kane, Kaylin Knight, Stephanie Knox, Corey Lager, Kao Lope Muel, Mohammed Mehdi, Malini Manolias, Busani Manga, Alfredo Medensi Ordonius, Jacob Morales. Natasha Nambi, Maria Orr, Robert Piersaw, Bryson Pinkley, Christopher Price Cunningham, Jeremy Pritchard, Sierra Rodriguez, Maya Scott, Fambella Sambangu, Samantha Short, Lauren Skinner, Kylie Monette Smithling, Clayton Stevenson, Sierra Swayze, Dustin Taylor, Anderson Tanya, Biyuan Chua, Louisa Uribe, Kaysen Behind, Daphne Wall, Trey Webster, K. 
Kelby West, Nathan Wicker, Alexandra Whitmore. Congratulations to the class of 2020 and a special shout out to our first class of engineering graduates. Well done. Our faculty and staff are very proud of your accomplishments, but don't forget to thank your family and friends for their sacrifices and support in your journey to this milestone. You know, this graduation celebration is different from all the others because of COVID-19. And you know what else? COVID-19 will be defeated and better days ahead of us. During this challenging time and beyond, the world needs you more than ever. Not just for your skills and knowledge, but also for your compassion and your courage to do the right thing. I know you're ready. Let me finish my message to you today by quoting Dr. Maya Angelou. Be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. Thank you, be safe and healthy. Go Monarchs. And now there's one very important final step. If you're wearing a mortarboard, you can actually do this. If you're not, you can still pantomime it. Please grasp your tassel and move it from the right side of your mortarboard to the left. Congratulations, graduates. As we go forth this day, we do so under God's care and with God's blessing. Will you pray with me? Dear God, bless these graduates, everyone, and fill them with your spirit of love. As they go forth to set the world on fire, may they remember you are in all things and all people. May they continue to challenge themselves intellectually and share the fruit of their knowledge. May their commitment to justice lead them to make a positive difference in our world. May they build community wherever they go and remain forever the important part of our community that they are today. And may they, through their ongoing growth and wisdom and grace, bring others to you as they share their talents in the wider world. We ask you, God of all the ages, to protect and guide these scholars throughout their lives. We ask these things trusting in your grace and love. And now go in peace, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.